Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Easy Adapted PE. Uh, it was an awesome summer, I had so much fun camping with my family all summer long, it was the best, but I'm super happy to be back and to be able to get my hands dirty again and start to share some awesome ideas with you. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I am an Adapted PE teacher, I've been teaching, this will be my 12th year at the elementary level, and although a lot of my activities are geared towards the younger kiddos, you can easily extend or modify these activities to meet the needs of your students. To those of you that have already started, happy school year. I hope everything is going great. I'm going to be posting another video about the routine that I use in my self-contained adaptive PE classes. Today I'm going to talk about my top three things that I do before school starts. So even if school has started for you and you haven't done these three things, do them as soon as you can. Okay, first things first. If you can get into your building before school starts, do it. Get to your building, find out what your teaching space looks like, find out what kind of equipment you have. It's also important that if you're a traveling APE teacher like I am and have been for many years, that you make yourself known to the principal, the vice principal, the general phys ed teachers that you're gonna be teaching with, especially if it's a new building, the special ed teachers, the PTs, the OTs, the speech. Get out there, say hello, get to know people because you're gonna be working very closely with a lot of them for the rest of the year. Okay, my second tip is to get to know your custodians. The custodians are like the gatekeepers to each building. They know where equipment is being moved, they know where furniture is being moved, they know what furniture people don't want anymore. For example, I had a custodian come to me years and years ago um, with giant bean bags, just saying, you know what, one of the kindergarten rooms didn't want these, do you want these? Yep. Another custodian came to me with these mats, they were brand new mats, but they were too thick for what the classroom teacher had wanted. He says, do you want these? Yeah, I'll take them because I had a very good relationship with that custodian. And I think it's so important because they really do help out in so many different situations, not only for cleanup, but for fixing things. I've had custodians make me different pieces of adaptive PE equipment. They've modified hula hoops to make them smaller for some of my kiddos with dwarfism. Now, there's so many different ways that they can help you, so be kind, bring them coffee. Okay, and my number one tip, uh, if you have not done this already, do it as soon as possible. Get a hold of your students' IEPs and read them. Highlight the pieces that are in the adaptive PE section, the pieces that are in the PT, the OT, speech, and the behavioral management section. These are so important because that's going to tell you about the student, about what they like, they don't like, where they are at in the learning process as far as their academics, but also their physical ability. When they come to your class, you're not gonna be surprised like, oh my gosh, I had no idea the student could do this or couldn't do that. You're already gonna know and you're gonna have a really set plan for the unique needs of that particular student. And every single student is different. So you wanna read each one of those IEPs and have a plan set in place so that your class can be more successful. So those are my top three tips for getting back into school, the top three things I do before I see my students and before I start teaching. I'd love to hear what you do before you start teaching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.